different types of incarnations. There are six different kinds of incarnations as per the Shastras. The references come from the Vedas, the Upanishads and Bhagavad Purana. The six kinds of incarnations are the Purusha avatars, Leela avatars, Guna avatars, Manvantar avatars, Yuga avatars and Satyavish avatars. All the different avatars, the first and the foremost, Purusha avatars. The Purusha avatars are Shri Vishnu. There are three avatars, Karna Dakshai Vishnu, also known as the Maha Vishnu. He is lying on the casual ocean and creates the material universes just with a glance through Pradhan and Mahatattva. Then we have the Garbha Dakshai Vishnu. He lies on the universal ocean and he enters each and every universe. He creates the stem of a lotus flower from his navel and from this lotus flower Brahma is born and Brahma then creates the universes. Third Purushavta is the Shirodakshari Vishnu. He lies on the ocean of the mill within the universe. He is also called Paramatma or the super soul residing in our heart and he is also an incarnation of the mode of goodness. And then we have the Leela avatars. The Leela avatars, Krishna also incarnates from time to time to perform Leelas or some tasks to protect the devotees and eliminate the demons as he states in the we talk about the Leela Avatars and in the Leela Avatars it is stated Leela Avatars are Avatars of Sri Vishnu or Sri Krishna and Leela Avatars are performed from time to time for some tasks or to protect the devotees and eliminate the demons. Srimad Bhagavatam mentions 22 avatars of Krishna from the chapter 1 to 6. Krishna also incarnates from time to time to perform leelas or some tasks to protect the devotees and eliminate the demons. As Sri Krishna states in the Bhagavad Gita, Yata Yadahi Dharmasya Glanir Bhavati Bharata Abhyutanam Adharmasya Tadatmanam Shujamyaha which means whenever there is a decline in righteousness and increase in sinfulness at that time I manifest myself on earth which means to protect the righteous to annihilate the wicked and to re-establish the principles of dharma, I appear on this earth age after age after age, which is the avatar at the end of Kali Bhagavan Sri Krishna will take his avatar as Kalki, which is stated in the Srimad Bhagavat in a village called Sambhal, the Srimad Bhagavatam also states, Krishna Stu Bhagwan Swayam. Krishna is the supreme. Iti Chamasha Kala Punsha Krishna Stu Bhagwan Swayam. Srimad Bhagavat. First Canto, Chapter 3, Verse 28. The Leela of Tars. Adi Purush, primary avatar of Lord Vishnu. Four Kumars, the first four conscious beings created by Lord Brahma. Narad, Narad is the son of Lord Brahma and is a big devotee of Lord Vishnu. 
Nar Narayan are the two twin sages, the avatars of Lord Vishnu. Kapil Dev is also described as the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Dattatre is the God who is an incarnation of the Divine Trinity, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiv. Yagna, a ritual where the fire is lit and sacrifice is made to make wishes to the deities. Rishabh Dev, who was a preacher and a spiritual leader. Prutha, was the first sacred king. Danvantri is the god who emerged holding a pot of Amrit in his hand and established Ayurveda. Mohini is the female avatar of Vishnu. Haigriv has a man's body with the head of a horse. Vyasdev who authored the Mahabharat, also known as Krishna. Gaipanya, Vyas. Matsya, known as the half fish and half human form of Lord Vishnu. Kurma, half tortoise, half man form of Lord Vishnu. This took place during the Samutra Manthan, the churning of the ocean. Varha, is the half man and half boar avatar of Vishnu. Narsim is the half lion and half human avatar of Vishnu. Vaman is the avatar of Lord Vishnu and it comes to check the growing power of the demoning king Mahabali. Parshuram depicted as a sage with an axe in his hand. Rama avatar, Sri Ram assumes an earthy form to defeat the wicked and protect his devotees. Balaram appears in Mahabharata as the elder brother of Sri Krishna. Krishna, Lord Vishnu incarnated as Krishna, killed many demons and evil kings in the nearby kingdoms to establish righteousness. Buddha avatar, Kalki, the only avatar of Vishnu that is yet to be born and that is the list of the 24 avatars. The Guna avatars, the Guna avatars are there for the administration of the creation the Guna Avatars are Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. Shri Vishnu is Sattva Guna Avatar, mode of goodness and takes care of maintenance of universe. Brahma, Rajo Guna Avatar, mode of passion, takes care of creation of universe. Shiv, Tamo Guna Avatar, mode of ignorance and takes care of the destruction of universes. Brahma's one day consists of a thousand chaturyugs, which is divided into 14 periods, and each period is ruled by a Manu, who is considered as the father of mankind. And these periods of Manus are known as Manvantars. The different incarnations of the Manvantars, Yagna, Vibhu, Satyasen, Hari, Vaikund, Ajit, Sarvabhaum, Rushab, Vishvekshin, Dharma, Sudhama, Yogeshwar, Brahad, Vanu. And then we have the Yuga Avatars. In each of this youth, the Lord incarnates with a different body color according to the youth. The Srimad Bhagavad states in the 10th canto, chapter 8, 
13th verse, Krishna appears as an incarnation in every millennium. In the past, he assumed three different colors, white, red, and yellow, and now he has appeared in a blackish color. <coughs> Srimad Bhagavat, 10th Anto, Chapter 8, 13th Shlok. Krishna appears as an incarnation in every millennium. In the past, he assumed three different colors, white, red, and yellow, and now he has appeared in a blackish color. The Satyu, Kardam Muni, which is the white of the to establish meditation as the process for self-realization. Trita Yuga, Brahma, which is the red of the to establish fire sacrifice or yagnas as the process for self-realization. Krishna is in the Dwapar Yuga, Krishna appeared as the dark of that to establish devotion as the process for self-realization. Dwaparyu, Krishna appeared as the dark of that to establish temple worship as the process for self-realization. Kalyu the yellow of that to establish the chanting, the Nam Smaran Kirtan as the process for self-realization, the Shakti Avesh Avtars. The Avtars or incarnations as humans with special empowerment. Now there are two types of Shakti Avesh Avtars. One is Saksha, which is the direct avatar, and the other one is the Avesh, which is the indirect avatar. The Saksha one, the expansion of Lord Bhagwan Swayam, Lord Himself, to display a particular opulence, and the Avesh, meaning the indirect avatar. Bhagwan empowers a devotee and sends them to the material planets to perform certain tasks. The great Acharyas come under this category. And if they had displayed great success in their service to the Vedas or the service to Bhagwan Swayam, A few examples of Avesh Avtars are the mentioned in the Vedic text says Brahma, who has the creative power, the four Kumars, knowledge, Narad Muni, Narad Dev, devotional service, Parshuram, eradicating demons, Krishna, Dvaipanya Vyas. Devji, who wrote the Vedas and the scriptures. Some great Acharyas of Vedic as well as modern age who come under the, this discipline. Shakti Avesh Avtars make a huge impact in the minds of the wide section of people across the world. We have the great Acharyas, Shankaracharyaji, Ramanuja Acharyaji, Madhu Acharyaji, Nimbaka Acharyaji, Shivalba Acharyaji. These are the examples of the great Acharyas who fall under that category. We also have the other forms of avatar mentioned in the classification. 
literally avatars of Krishna is the Srimad Bhagavatam, Archa avatar of Krishna, the Vigraha deity of Krishna is also considered as an Archa avatar of Krishna. And then we have the Nama avatar of Krishna. Krishna's names are called Nama avatars. There is no difference between Krishna and Krishna's names. <laughs>